Hi folks, it's, <laughs> that sounded really smooth, didn't it? Hi folks. Um, it's Anne from Reveille Artistry again. Um, today, <clears throat> excuse my voice, um, I want to make another one of these. Um, if you remember this bowl that I made, it's a bit dusty. Um, but I want to, I love this. <laughs> so I'm just, you forget what you've done, don't you? When you just sort of put them to one side. Um, I want to do it in shades of pink though, um, a lighter coloured one, see how that goes. Um, so to that end, uh, the video for that one is of course on my YouTube channel. To that end, I am using some white sort of pearl um, mica powder by WTRCSV, that one. I'm using some Let's Resin bronze pink um, an unknown label fuchsia I'd call that fuchsia pink white pink anyway and then I'm going to use let's resin rose red which is a nice sort of delicate pink and this dark magenta oh I'm a bit unsure about this um, I have to do a little test with that uh, let's just find some to put let's just use this let's put a little bit on here uh, put the resin on there. <laughs> My little tester. Put a drip on that. Oh, that didn't exactly hit the right spot, did it? <laughs> oh dear, dear. Um, let's get a little stick. A little stick. Right. <laughs> My alcohol ink ended up there, and there's my resin. So let's just. Oh, that's an all right. That's pink, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. That's rather nice, actually, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Just knock that one off for now. Um, so there we are. That's the colours. Um, and we are... I've done... I've actually made up five... Um, probably 600 grams of resin altogether. Um, oh, dear. What did I make up? So a quick measure. Three. Yeah, 600. I only meant to make up five, but never mind. Um, we've got six. We'll find something to do with that. Um, now I'm going to do it the same way. I've checked my other video. I'm going to do it the same way. So the um, white is going around the outside. And then I'm going to do a dirty pour into the middle with the others. For those of you who don't know what a dirty pour is, you pour one colour on top of another on top of another. Um, I usually just do all my colour in one go. I don't do layers um, for the effect that was in the blue bowl. So let's put some into separate cups. So we need, you can see I'm using clean cups today in your honour. I've got bits of gold floating in here for some reason. I don't know where they've come from. They're probably in my cup floating around anyway. gold in there it's completely would spoil oh. spoil the color scheme oh it's bits everywhere oh i know what they are for some plants fake plants i had it's like a pollen effect <laughs> with a vengeance unfortunately hopefully that's it oh that's a nuisance isn't it i did give them a good blowout these Hopefully you can see it on there. Can you see it on my stick? Get those bits of yellow. Not nice. Oh, I don't want to go there, don't. I'm sticking to everything. A bit there. Luckily it floats, so it's... I'll say, I think. Right. Okay, so we need some, we need two lots. Basically, we need, we need one, two, three, four, five different pots plus some clear at the end. So let's. Doesn't matter if, um, 
I've got some left over because I'm doing some Christmas deckies for Christmas fair I'm doing for the Cynthia, Hos uh, Cynthia Spencer Hospice um, charity in due course. Um, that's got another cup. I've got another clean one. Uh, clean cups, clean cups. No. Okay, so I'm going to use some of these. These are a bit big, aren't they? I feel like they're huge. Um, let's try and use a couple of these. There we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, could do a little bit more. I want more of the white because that's going around the edge. So if that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I need a little bit more clear, really. Uh, that's popular. Little whoops, a little bit back. Don't need a huge amount, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. That'll do. So that's my clear. That's oh, my hands are covered in garlic. <laughs> that magenta just leaks everywhere. Look at my hands. Oh. Right, let's get some gloves on because that won't come off in a hurry. Um, I've mixed, yeah, so I've used a Vista Cascade, that's my resin. Um, where's the bottle? Let me show you a bottle. Um, I use nearly all Vista resin now because it's made in the UK, which I like. Support local businesses, um, and that's the one Vista Cascade. Um, I mean, it's a two part. Um, resin two to one on in grams so when i made the two cups of resin i had 200 of a and 200 gram uh, and 100 grams of b so 200 and 100 to make 300 okay let's go with these then now it's going to take um okay so i'll go with the white first which i'm going to put into this cup so one, two, let's see how that goes. We'll pop a bit more in if we need to. Mm. Just always wear your PPE with uh, the mica powders because they do disperse even if you can't see them. And they are not good for your lungs. But if you're careful, it's fine. So I did beat that one a bit quick and I, I released a cloud of little particles. So, you know, be warned. That's what I'm saying. Be warned. I want it to be nice and opaque, this white. It's lovely, isn't it? It's absolutely pure white. Make sure you wipe down your sides as well. So I think that's... Pretty good. And um, now we've got the, oh, that made a mess. Um, bronze pink. I'm not gonna be able to get that out with that. So let's use this. That's a, can be any of these. One, two, three. I use the spray these up upside down because I just find them easier. The best ones, of course, are the flat ones, um, completely flat. I love this one. Perfect. I've only got one of them. And I do like to have reusable things. I don't like to be throwing away stuff all the time. So I'll find out where I can get some of those. Um, as usual, everything I'm using comes from Amazon, except for my resin, um, which I get directly from Mr. Aruba themselves, um, who are in the Midlands, I believe. And um, if you spend over £50, you don't pay any postage, which is quite handy. And um, yeah, so. And they're a good price if you get them direct from the company. 
cheaper than Amazon. <gasps> Dare I say, cheaper than Amazon. There we go, that one, let's uh, pop that away. That's the bronze pink. Now we're I always tap the tops of my pots before I open them. Well, technically I do. Um, I sometimes forget, that's not the last one, but I have tapped this one. Okay, so now we're going for the bright pink. That one hasn't got a lot in there, actually. Anything left in there? Not a lot. Let's give you a little bit more. We want plenty of colour, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Okay, um, so let's go three of these. One, two, three. And another stir. They're lovely colours, aren't they? Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Don't you just love it? Don't you just love it? Vista resin is also very good at uh, degassing de itself. So, um, yeah, that's why it's one of my favourites. That's it. Okay, let's now go with the uh, rose red. A load in i mean it's all down to choice isn't it personal choice if uh, you want more you can put more if you want less you can put less oh isn't that gorgeous it's quite similar to that actually isn't it <laughs> i love that i do like that color i'm not really i'm not a baby pink person but i do like a bit of bright pink oh look at that so a good squirt is the way to go with that <laughs> No messing around with drops. Scrape your stick off though, in case you get any sort of um, streaky bits. But it's usually all right. And then we've got our drippy deep magenta that just seems to want to make a mess everywhere. All right, let's try and pour this without any. It's funny, I always start off thinking I'm going to do a pale pink um, version of something or other whatever I'm doing and, and I never can stick to pale pink I guess it's just not in my DNA I like a bit of colour she says weirdly in a house that's mostly grey and white <laughs> oh dear oh lord what would you do with me eh Still a bit streaky that one. It's on the stick. Well, the actual pouring won't take too long. Um, right, and also I'm going to use. Bear with me a minute. Uh, at this point in time, I think I might use these um, for the centre. It's a C E Y A, Sia, whatever that says rose gold very pretty aren't they and that was from amazon as well okay ready steady go okay i'm going to start with our white and i'm just going to try and keep that to the edges if i can so let's have a little quick mop up off here make sure there's no bits and bobs in here which of course there are because i've been flinging stuff around okay so, here we go, round the edges with, I can see there's a few little air pockets of powder popped on the top there. So let's just give them a little stir in. That'll do nicely. Okay, here we go. Okay, 
I'm liking, I've not used this mould before, it's a very large, um, I think it's 33 centimetres. I'll tell you in a minute. Um, and I suspect it will take quite a lot of resin. Um, it's a geode shape. Should I put more in? Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. So that's the white. Now um, we're going to dirty pour in the middle and I'm going to alternate between uh, mica powder and ink. So I'm going to go with, I think, the bright pink mica powder first. So I'm going to put a lot of that in. So I'm just pouring it straight in the middle. Is that the mica? Yeah, that's the mica powder. And then I'm going to go with the... Uh, actually, I might put a bit of white in there on, on that, just so there's a bit of definition. A bit of white, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of a breakout for me. Then a bit of magenta. Look at that colour. Oh, my goodness. Oops. And I might put a bit of white again, just to break it up. And then we've got this lovely bronze pink. So we're streets away from <laughs> um, pale colours, aren't we? Just a little bit of white. And then we'll go with the, where are you? Magenta. Well, I'll just use that. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've used that one. Sorry. Oh, that was nearly a mistake. And then some rose. Oh, we seem to be tipping that way. I've, I've spent ages trying to straighten this board. Take these out again now. See that which way it flows. Which way I'm flowing back this way now. <laughs> Oh, it's a laugh, and it trying to level up your board. Okay, let's go with a another little bit of white, and then we'll go with where is it? This one. I'll put all that in. Gorgeous colour. Going a bit that way now. <laughs> I guess in the end it will just be full up, and then a little bit of white, and then see my what my, my center has gone right off center. Let's see if we can push it back a bit. No, not really. Um, it goes. <laughs> Back you go. Um, white. I haven't used so much of this one. A bit more this time. Bronze. Little bit of that left. Right, I'm going to stop there because I need it to sort of centre itself a bit better. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my white.
there now that looks very interesting doesn't it we're not still sure what that's going to do i'm hoping you know me ever hopeful um it looks lovely as it is to be honest a quick spritz with the old degasser. I thought I was running out of gas. <laughs> Oops, yes it is. Um, and now I'm going to get my little bit of these. I'm not going to put them in resin first of all because no point really it's going into resin, isn't it? So the whole point is, can I get it in the right place? I think the resin was quite deep, wouldn't you? But actually, it's not. There we go. That is pretty much in the centre, isn't it? So that's happy days. Okay, I'm going to leave that, and I'll try and do a. Oh, well, I won't try. I will do a, um, a little bit of video to show you what it's doing, how it's cooking, and then I'll come back later when it's um, handleable, and we'll try and put it into make it into something beautiful. Okay, oh, there goes that <laughs> deep magenta. Right, okay, everyone, I will speak to you soon. Bye. Hi, folks, just to let you see what's happening here now. Um, I'm hoping you can see how those stripes... I'm on the wrong side right now, no, let's move. Is that better? Not really, but you can see how the, what I call striations are forming, and they're all pulling down towards the centre, and they've got the wiggly lines. See, the, the geode lines, it's sort of reflected from the outer edge of the of the actual um, mould. So instead of coming down, if it was a circular mould, it would come right down in circles. It's come out, come down in a wiggly line. I am mega, mega, mega impressed. I love the, what, the, the life it, that is in resin in as much as it will move and it will transform and become something completely different. I find it absolutely fascinating. Um, so you can see there's a sparkle coming through from my um, mica powder there from the white which is absolutely delightful and my little bits in the middle have all stayed put so happy day so um, yeah see you soon can't wait till it's finished moving around <laughs> okay see you in a bit bye right back again everyone as you can see this has done amazing things you've got a really good 3d effect here there's a line that sort of follows the geode shape and then there's clear resin and it because the stones are in the bottom it actually looks like it's floating like it's 3d it's amazing absolutely amazing <laughs> another another thing to blow my mind of course now we're just about ready to go i think i don't want to jump too soon but see when i pull the edge away it's coming away so you, did you see that i don't know if you could see that let me try here see how it's pulling away pulling away now yeah so that's ready to go um what i'm going to do is mold it on my bowl i've measured that the width of that which is 33 centimeters by the way is less than the measurement from from there to there so it's not going to hit the tabletop um but i'm going to put a sheet of um cellophane over this first so that when I turn it onto here because I want this side on the inside it'll protect um, the uh, resin from that ridge I hope anyway that's my plan you know my plans they do change right so I'll just pop that on there and I'm going to start peeling this away she says come on come on baby you can do it which I might have to peel it away before I get that. I just don't want to mark the... Oh, look at that. Would you look at that, eh? Ah, 
I could probably have done it a couple of hours ago, but I didn't think it was ready. Oh, it obviously, very obviously is. Look, and it's huge. Oh my goodness, the other side looks just as nice. Oh my goodness. Just wait till you see what I see. Oh dear, dear, dear. I'm trying to go really fast because I want to show you. I mean, that is pretty damn good, isn't it? Eh? Excuse my French. Mold, go there. Right. So that's going to be on the inside. And look at that. On the outside. <laughs> look at that. Oh my goodness. Right. I'm going to pop the cellophane. It's all getting a bit much for me. Uh, which way around do I need this to go? I'm a bit confused now. So it's. Uh... Right, so there's. I don't know whether I'm coming or going now. So I've put my cellophane over the top of that, picked it up, got my bowl. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's actually a bit, a bit too hard to mould almost. Now, I'll put it in the middle. How am I going to do it in the middle? Let's check. that's roughly in the middle. Now if this proves too hard I am going to just put the hot air is going to be too hard. Would you believe it? Um, where's my hot air gun? Come here you. Oh, so many wires and what Get all stuff on. Here we go. Right let's just see if I can make it <laughs> not dissolve but um, go down. Oh why is that not working? the plug's not in that's why okay let's try again okay Just making it more pliable. Made it a little bit more pliable now. So I think oh, that's not in the centre, is it? Let's get this in this. It's hard to tell where the centre is, to be honest. There's the centre, so that's not in the centre. Is that in the centre? Yeah, that's better. That's better. So I'm going to squish and squash, and I'm going to get some weights to hold it in place. In other words, bottles. You have to use things which have got a bit of stamina in there, you know, that will 
the hold. And that's there. And something else half. <laughs> Pretty hard. Yeah, something else still. And then um, what else have I got? Some of these. Big guns out. Can you still see? Yes. Um, I'm just going to have to move the camera slightly. See, they can't get can't go any closer than that. But I don't want I don't want a big closed up bowl well, anyway. I want it to be open. Um, so and that one can go there. That's just perfect. That'll do. That'll do, pig, as they say. Happy days. Now we wait till tomorrow. Okay, folks. Sleep well. I know I will. <laughs> Happy days. I'm really pleased. Um, see you in the morning. No, not in the morning because I'm working, but see you later on tomorrow. Bye now. Hi, folks. Here we are again, ready to move everything from around this... Uh, Bowl, lovely bowl. Oops. The funny thing is, when you've sort of started doing freeform bowls uh, like this one um, that I've done, and one of my previous on one of the previous videos, this sort of seems a bit tame, and it just blows my mind really because I'm I was so scared of doing any of this, um, but I thought now I've got to do it because I always used to, say to, used to say to my kids. It's about slaying the giants. You, Anything that gives you fear, you should do just to remove your fear. So anyway, that's how I've progressed. That's how I've done it. So I was really nervous about doing bowls when I first did them, and they turned out all right. Then I was really nervous about doing the sculptures, and that turned out right. So um, yeah, so anyway, I don't know why I've gone on to that, but just, just to give encouragement to people who are terrified at the thought of even trying, just do it, just do it. And if I can help in any way, I will. Right, um, let's just should we pull it, pull, pull out the, uh, always easy cellophane, brilliant stuff. Oh, what's happened here? Wow, that is a beautiful bath, a bowl. I really, really like that. And I also, I don't know what happened there. It's sort of gone a bit squidgy, but I can trim that up. That's not a worry. Um, I love the way the white's given that lovely edge to it. Hat funny, sort of like it sort of dripped, dri dropped a bit, but that's it gives it a bit of character. That's beautiful, love it, love it, love it. Pretty much in the centre with the stone, and it's submerged, and we've still got that sort of 3D look underneath there, which because these geode lines, which did that was um none of my my doing, they did it, it did it itself. Um, yeah, blown away again. I love it, yeah, awesome. Bit of a wrinkle there. Never mind. I can make good. I can make that all good. Um, so yeah, another another nice um, product at the end of the day. So yeah, happy days, and I'll see you on the next one. If you like what you see, please thumbs up and subscribe, and um, happy days. Bye now. Okay, guys. I just thought I'd bring you down to have a really good look at this. Um, you can see the striations on the sides. Absolutely beautiful sort of um, fuchsia pinks, pearl whites, um, maybe even a bit of sort of plummy looking uh, colour in there. And the amazing um, geode lines that have come through where the, as the colours have merged in towards the middle, they've kept this the um, outline of the edge, um, which I find quite fascinating, really. Um, it's an amazing, it's just a baffles me. I know I keep saying it, but it amazes me what resin can do. Um, and I'm really, really happy with that. I just want to keep trying different colour combinations. <laughs> um, but anyway, I won't bore you with that one anyone any longer. Um, see you on the other side. Bye now.